G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza, I'm Jazza and today I'm going to be creating an artwork in Microsoft Paint, MS Paint. This is a program I have never used on this channel, let alone in the last decade. But it was the winning activity voted on on Twitch and speaking of vote on Twitch, I've put it to the chat what I will be painting in MS Paint so I'm going to open up the vote so far and the winning vote is Kylo Ren from the new Star Wars movie The Force Awakens. So I'm going to be creating an epic depiction of Kylo Ren in MS Paint. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I'm gonna do a practice picture of uh, my avatar just so I can feel like I'm getting the basics of uh, MS Paint again. Starting off with a silhouette. Oh God, it's really hard because I'm used to working with construction lines and I can't really do that. So I'm just drawing straight in and it's gonna be bad. This is actually amazing. I may begin to use this as my default painting program from now on. I genuinely want to make an epic Kylo Ren piece, so, you know, it's important that I understand the features of MS Paint, the prestigious art creation software. Bam! Bam! Oh, look at that! I'm already a pro! This is awesome! After creating this epic artwork in Microsoft Paint, even just as a warm-up, I am very confident that I'll be able to produce an amazing and epic Kylo Ren piece in MS Paint. Let's get started. Okay, so I've finished my basic sketch in MS Paint and uh, moving forward is the scary bit. I'm going to do the painting bit. Now, to get rid of these gray lines that I've used to create the sketch, I'm not going to worry about uh, getting rid of them specifically. I'm actually going to paint from the background forward using the various brushes. And when I say the various brushes, there really are uh, just um, four brushes and they're just perfectly round MS Paint brushes that have no pressure sensitivity and look like that. So uh, it's not going to look elegant, but I'm going to try and build up layers and I'm going to start off with the background and do a fairly dark, try and gradient it somewhat if that's possible. <laughs> so actually I'm wrong. There are some other MS Paint brushes. There is a calligraphy variations. There's a lovely spray paint brush. And then we have, oh, whoa, this is, this is advanced. Wow, okay, so MS Paint got fancy up in this shiz knit. <laughs> we got like a sketchy pencil. This is amazing. Look at that. Look at you go, MS Paint. Wow, and look at that, it fades over time. All right, <laughs> so we're not too, too, too limited, but we're very, very limited. I have no idea how this is gonna go. It's an improvisation process, so, Wish me luck. All right, this is, uh, I'd say this is my halfway point so far, and I'm about to do a little more details and a little more blending. So this is where everything's been pretty much blocked in. I'm fairly happy with it. Obviously I have a lot of highlights and shadows to do, but aside from that, I think the most difficult thing to do now is gonna be the blending, which is essentially where I need to manually pick colors between two colors and gradient and softly transition them between each other. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to make this photo realistic, but I'm gonna do my best to make it look decent.
Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. This is my finished Microsoft Paint Kylo Ren. This was 100% created in MS Paint. I did have the advantage of using a Cintiq, but that aside, <laughs> it was really difficult to do. If I did this in Photoshop, it would have taken me 20 minutes. Uh, in MS Paint, it took me about three hours. That being said, I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and uh, make sure to join future streams by clicking the link on the screen and in the description. Otherwise, that's it for now, ladies and gentlemen. And until next time, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel to see new content every week. Check out more of my stuff by clicking the annotations over there. If you want to support my work and get a few goodies for yourself, head over to my store for archives, ebooks, and get yourself something nice. That's it for now, and until next time, see you later.